Hey guys, I'm back. Right, it is ironic that I'm back on apparently the most depressive day of the year. The second week of January is apparently Blue Monday. So it falls on the second Monday of um, January and it's today. And I just basically put up Instagram post um, just saying that you can achieve what you set out to achieve as long as you work towards the goals that you set out for yourself. Um, and today was not easy for me to sit down here and film this video. Obviously I have my little baby Nora who is one and three months and I've literally slotted the time in when she goes for the nap, I'm going to film my video which means I'm going to need to do my makeup, I'm going to need to get changed, get ready and film this video for you. Basically what I want to say is that you can achieve your goals, you can achieve your dreams, you can achieve it if you work towards it and in order to, to be able to work towards those goals you need to write them down. The reason I say you need to write them down is because you need a way to review them and you need a way to cross them out or tick them once you've accomplished those goals. Now I'm going to give you three tips of mine which will help you work towards your goals because let's face it we live in a world full of distractions we're on our phones most of the time social media instagram bombards us with all these amazing like viral videos and that's why they're viral because they're so addictive and you watch one and then you watch the other ones and by the way that's how they've designed these apps they've designed them to give us this dopamine thrill um, if we post them and if we watch them and all sorts of things i can go into it in so much more detail um being a cognitive scientist which is what i studied at uni um, so this really fascinates me with this whole subject but today the purpose of this video is not to get sidetracked with lots of um, Instagram talk or dopamine driven um, neurons firing in your brain um, what I want to talk about today is how you can achieve the goals that you set out for yourself now it's January we make New Year's resolutions we break them before we've even started on them and I want to give you the tips that I believe will help you based on my experience based on um, what I've had to deal with myself going on the journey of achieving you know um, a makeup brand that hopefully delivers results for you guys worldwide um, so many of you obviously tell me time and time again that the products are amazing and I'm so thrilled whenever I hear that but I'm always striving to make things better and improve things so I just wanted to share a few tips um, things that you can actually do to get things done okay so my tip number one is to write things down so write your goals down and if you can if you want to focus on achieving three daily goals okay three daily goals doesn't mean you're going to learn how to become an astronaut in a day um, what it means is that you're going to set yourself something that needs to be done, something that's high priority that needs to be done, like paying your bills, little small things that are achievable in your daily routine, okay? When you achieve those things, you're gonna be able to cross them out, tick them off, you're gonna feel a sense of achievement, and then that sense of achievement is gonna drive you to do another, another round of goal setting for tomorrow so that you can have that same thrill of achieving and ticking off your little checklist. So in order to have those goals, you need to write them down so that you can tick them off. And the other thing is to write down, if you can, three um, monthly goals. So for example, if you wanted to become a makeup artist, for, for example, you can't just become a makeup artist in a day, can we? You can um, put down your daily goals in the sense that I want to be able to perfect winged eyeliner, maybe in a day doesn't mean you're going to achieve it but what it means is that you're going to practice maybe doing your eyeliner wing for an hour um, until you get it right and then you can review and then tomorrow you can try again and then by the end of the month you would have been able to perfect that beautiful winged liner so set yourself daily goals with the mindset that within a month you're going to achieve your ultimate monthly goal okay so rule number one write your stuff down Rule number two, okay, some of you may know this already, some of you may not, but the second rule is, mm, I can't hear you, yes, the second rule is we need to take action. Taking action is the difficult part, it's the part where we procrastinate, we like, oh look at that cute little cat on Instagram, 
I'm just gonna flick through and find something else. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, look at this makeup look. Oh, by the way, have you seen this video? It's so disgusting. And then you share it with other people and then you share it on WhatsApp before you know it. Your mum's WhatsApping you, telling you to fulfill her shopping list. So let's be honest, we get distracted by social media, we get distracted by our phones, we get distracted in so many different ways. So the way that I see it is to focus your attention. Rule number two is to focus your attention. And how do we do that? We get rid of our phones. My phone is over there. In order for me to have been productive and be able to get dressed and be able to do what I've just done is I put my phone upstairs, charged it while I was getting ready down here, downstairs. What I'm trying to say is put your phone away. Okay, when you're trying to go through those goals that you need to do, whether it's write your essay, whether it is perfect your winged liner, whether it is to write that project, whether it is to spend some quality time with your child, put your phone away. The phone is one of the most distracting tools. It's not even, a, well, it is a tool. I love my iPhone, but it does distract me a lot and it keeps me unfocused. So put it somewhere else. Hide it away, switch it off if you want. What I've done is actually I've turned off all notifications. My WhatsApp notifications, I've turned them off and I've done the whole wax. So, so I get less distracted. So tip no number two is get rid of your phone for an hour and try and achieve the thing that you need to do, like pay your bills, instead of getting distracted on somebody else who got hit by a bus. Rule number three is to reward yourself. Okay, so what do I mean by reward yourself? Rewarding yourself means you need to set yourself that goal, focus your time, so number two, then reward yourself for achieving that goal. So there's no point in you saying, okay, I'm gonna do this and this and this, so you do it, and then in the end, you don't reward yourself. Even if it's a tiny little reward, like making sure that you've had your little um, chocolate bar Let's all get down to the nitty gritty. We all love chocolate. Even just giving that bit of reward for having a nice piece of arrow, chocolate arrow, or whatever tickles your fancy, or even if you don't like chocolate, if you like your coffee, give yourself a mini reward, okay? And then for achieving the bigger goals, give yourself a little bigger reward, like going out with your friends, going out with your husband, keeping the kids with your mum do something that you can actually feel a sense of accomplishment and achievement. The other thing is, not only does that help you do that process again and repeat the process of um, going for those goals and those little checklists, what it also does is it gives you a deadline. If you know that you're going to meet your friends on Friday, you know that you need to do all those things that you've set out for yourself so that you can achieve those things and reward yourself. Because you can't kid yourself. You may be able to kid everyone else but you know deep down if you haven't achieved that then you're not really going to enjoy yourself with your friends on that Friday night. So feel a sense of reward. Think about what kind of rewards you want to reward yourself with. It doesn't have to be monetary. You don't buy yourself things. We're not going to be materialistic in that way. We want experiences. We want to do things that make us have fun, enjoy um, others company. So many things that I can think of that I would love to do and so if I set those out and know that on Friday I'm gonna be able to let my hair down and go out with my friends or watch a movie with my sister or whatever. Even if it means I go to have a facial or go to the spa and go to get a treatment, okay? Reward yourself because what's gonna happen, you're gonna reward yourself and then you're gonna repeat the behavior in order to get another reward, okay? It's all about brain psychology. Um, so that's my three tips on how to get stuff done and how to start a productive January and look for goal setting throughout the year. So remember three daily goals and then three month goals. And then if you can, a three yearly goal, like by the end of the year, you wanna have this, this and this, okay? Make them realistic. Don't they make them unattainable, unachievable. Make sure they are realistic. Um, because Rome wasn't built in a day. A makeup brand wasn't built in a day. I worked so hard to build Artist of Makeup to where it is now and I have such a massive vision for it and where it needs to go, but I know I'm not gonna be able to achieve that within a day or two. I'm gonna need to work hard every single day to do little small projects and see what I need to do the following day and the day after that so that all these little small steps are gonna get me to my goal. So your homework guys, if you choose to accept it, is to write down your three monthly goals, okay? 
write those down, write them in the comment section below. I wanna know what your three monthly goals are and what you're going to do every day in order to achieve those goals. Write them down in the comment section. That gives you a sense of fulfillment because you know you've written it down. Even if you don't write it down in a, on a piece of paper, try and write it down in the comment section. That will help you to get it out and think about what it is that you want to achieve. And then tell me what ways you're gonna reward yourself because I'd love to know. And if you feel that this video is going to help someone that you know, do share it with them. I'm sure they're gonna find it useful and I can't wait to make more of these videos. If you like them, give them a thumbs up so I know you want to see more. And until next time guys, believe in yourselves because I believe in you.